Welcome back, YouTube. We're still rolling here. These episodes are pumping out two a day. Please like them, watch them, subscribe if you aren't subscribed. It's That's absolutely free. Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. I'm pretty sure I'll leave. Until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose. Oh gosh, Madison followed me, bro. Proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Mars comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. The cops don't know me. I could just walk into the building without being noticed. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Oh, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police. They're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up the to? The solution. There? There's got to Wait for a go on my word. Out that way. I've got to search the hall. There's got to be another exit. Really gonna be it. Uh, maybe this window? Oh, I have to hold it. <laughs> Don't do that. Serious? Get a box in. Get something to stand on. I don't care. Oops. I accidentally hit S while doing that. Uh, bro, my fingers aren't coordinated for keyboard and mouse, let me tell you. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door. Hold your positions. It's a go. <sighs> Ethan, time Come to on, go. Let's go this way. I'm happy they're waiting for me. <laughs> hey, you, don't move. I'll shoot. Come on, quick. I can't. Hands in the air. Shit. Lieutenant. There's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! Subway. The subway. We're gonna go left. And we're gonna go right. 
right again. Left. Left. And right. Let me go down. Well done, Madison. Well done. Smoothest movement ever. Oh god, it's anxiety. Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? We've got to keep going. Ethan, Ethan, they're coming. Doesn't do well in groups, girl. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, I feel like nothing like this is real. Oh, God, I have a bus pass. Hey! Okay, that one's accurate. Ow. Hey, watch it, man! Please! Stop or I'll shoot! No, you won't. Are you kidding me? You're crazy. I'm innocent, I'll tell y'all I'm innocent. Oh my god, get out of my way, bro. <laughs> quick! Quick! Ethan, quick! It's gonna hit us! Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Drop them. Imagine. Game over. <laughs> We've got to get on that train, Ethan. It's Fall our out. only chance. Oh, okay. I didn't have to do anything. I guess I what the hell. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I, I sometimes have these blackouts, times where I don't know what I'm doing, as if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards <laughs> is the bodies, the bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? 
I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Sorry, I'm getting like really involved in this story right now. <laughs> I hope you guys are too. So I'm kind of staying more quiet. Alright. Fourth clue. Kill him and send a picture, get a reward. What? Kill who? This better be someone who deserves to die, bro. Jeez. Dang it! We messed up the one. <laughs> F. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Wouldn't you like to know, Albert? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. The psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? 
I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Talking about the glasses. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Anyone doesn't know. <laughs> Too much VR, melt your brain. But what do we care? All right. Look at our clues. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Uh-huh. <laughs> A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Possibly. Just making sure. Yeah. So we have the tire tracks. The origami figure. That's new. Interesting. Orchid. Uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Uh -huh. The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not hmm. enough evidence. Okay. Just ye delete that. Let's get our files out. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. Oh, we've already seen this, bro. And all the victims Oops. disappear. In I tried to skip it. <laughs> like that's even possible. seen that stuff what do we got on our map right now did it get any smaller uh, nope Ugh. lucky bastard another few seconds and I'd have seen his face on the video <sighs> a clue anything oh, I'm sure it's staring me in the face Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now.
Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit, it's... it's coming. Tryptocaine, the tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. I don't know. I don't know what it does. But it'll probably bring me back. Drugs are bad.